All right, guys. Um, I've been testing this harness. It works great. I mean, it's it's not rocket science. It kind of either works or it doesn't. But the pins are doing a real good job of doing exactly what they're supposed to be doing. So I think some of you um, just kind of want to know what the situation is with maybe putting a Hall Tech in your car. So I, I did some calling to Hall Tech just to make sure that I had the story straight. Um, so I thought I'd maybe just show you what that would kind of be. So the, the ECU that they recommend or that they only recommend would be an Elite 2500. And if you wanted to make a jumper harness, probably the easiest thing to do would be to get this uh, basic harness kit. It's just the connectors and then, a, you know, the, the it's just a flying lead uh, on the uh, on the opposite end, so you would just uh, trim that and you know go to this guy here to interface with the uh, factory engine harness. Um, the other thing, so aside from from this guy here, which they told me was two thousand dollars eighty nine. Okay, so two thousand eighty nine dollars for for that basic, for the ECU and the basic wiring kit. Um, the Elite does not have built-in igniters for the coils, so um, you would need to probably get two of these three-channel uh, igniters. Um, so, like I said, we have dumb coils on our cars. It's just a two-wire coil. Um, the factory ECU has the igniters built into it. So you would need to, uh, if you're going to put an Elite in it, you're going to have to get two of these, uh, is, is what I would do, um, in order to uh, run the coils on, on the car. When I put the M150 in my car, that ECU also does not have igniters built in. So I had to run, uh, I had some Bosch units. I talked to Haltech, they said this is a Bosch unit too. They just put their sticker over the top of it. So that, that thing there is what I have uh, in my car to, uh, to drive the coils. Um, secondly, I mean, I think we've all heard of people putting an Elite uh, in the Genesis 3.8 so I know that's happened before. If you do a Google search, there's this guy too. I don't know who he is, but um, he's obviously got a 3.8. It's got a turbo kit on it. And uh, Haltech goes to, you know, to say that they've expanded their support from the four-cylinder Genesis to the six-cylinder. So as far as <clears throat> my confidence that the ECU runs the car, I don't have any, I don't have any problem with that. I, I know it does. The part that we're missing uh, in my opinion, is um, first thing is a base map. So, like with the M150, I had to start from scratch, and that takes a you know that takes a lot of time to do to set something up from scratch. So, I talked to Haltech. They said that they would not be able to supply a base map for the car. So, so uh, you know, if you had a, a, a jumper harness for the car. Um, you know, know that it'll work. It's just you're gonna have to set up a base map for the car. Um, all, alternately, you know, I could try and do that. I mean, I can do that, um, but I can't. You know, I don't have an Elite 2500, so um, I could maybe poke around. I don't have much experience with their tuning software, but um, you know, I could probably get it figured out. Um, secondly, is calibration curves. So all of the sensors. Um, so like coolant temp, uh, you know, manifold pressure, those are usually a linear output, so those aren't too hard to figure out. But um, coolant temperature is usually a funky curve, and um, coolant temperature is one that you would want to know. So um, I'm going to take a guess and say that uh, Hyundai used the same sensor for the 2 liter that they did for the 3.8. So I know that you um, you know they have a base map for the two liter, so you could probably um, copy the calibration curve from the two liter base cal and paste that into uh, into the three point eight uh, base uh, calibration that you'd set up from scratch, and it'll probably be dead nuts on. 
Um, but again, that's, you know, that's probably a pretty sure thing, but it is speculation at this point. Um, so yeah, those are just some of the things that would have to be overcome unless you could find somebody who, uh, you know, such as this guy or the shop that did it for him, or if there's, uh, another, you know, I don't, I don't know who has done this before, uh, but if you could get in contact with them, maybe they would help you set up a base map. Um, but either way, the ECU can definitely run the car. Um, the hard part of coming up with the jumper harness so that you can use your factory ECU, or I'm sorry, your factory engine harness um, is solved. Um, it's just a matter of setting up the, the calibration in the ECU at this point. Um, but as opposed to, you know, starting from scratch with that, um, I think the Elite's probably well on its way to, to cranking the car over. Um, and, uh, yeah. So, anyway, I have, uh, I also have, um, I've been collecting ECUs, so I have... Uh, what is it? There are eight uh, ECUs f that are um, BK1. So, you know, I can harvest connectors off of that, and then when I run out of those, um, I can start printing again. Um, but either one works great. Like, I'm, I'm really happy with these. I trust these. Um, another nice thing is the seal for this connector is is actually in the in the engine is on the engine bay harness side so uh, even though this is 3d printed when it seats in the in the housing it seals so that's nice so what it would be if you wanted to put an elite 2500 in the car it'll be this end and then the other side will be to like you know they use the same connectors as like a motec so that's a sealed connector too. So the the jumper harness would be um, of quality. You know, it's not just uh, you know it's not going to be unsealed. Everything will be sealed, which would be nice. So anyway, that's what I know. Um, if uh, I guess if anybody's got questions or whatever, feel free to ask. Um, but maybe we can see where some of you want to go from here. Um, but I think Haltech is more than capable of running the car. They obviously do. And uh, we can make jumper harnesses now uh, and, you, and you don't have to buy an ECU and harvest the connectors for it. So it should be game on. All of you BK1 guys uh, should be able to ditch that factory ECU and stick a real ECU in the car that lets you uh, not only tune and probably have well, not probably, you will have a whole lot more functionality, um, but you'll be able to take it to any tuner that knows how to tune and he can tune the car. You don't, you won't have to have some, uh, you know, special, you know, open the ECU up, lance the EC, the PCB and, and, and have some special software to do that. Um, you won't be, you won't be bound by that anymore. You can, you can just have a standalone in there. And uh, sky's the limit for what you want to do at that point. You should be able to twin turbo, supercharge. Uh, everybody's got a single turbo kit. You're game on. So, anyway, that's what I know. <laughs>